Welcome, everyone, to the Afternoon Forum. Thank you for joining us. I'm a re Thank you. I'm a reporter at USA Today, where I cover topics such as workplace issues, small business, marketing media, and advertising. And I'll be the moderator for this forum, as well as the forum afterwards. Present. So at the end, please feel free to ask questions, make comments, raise your hands, and tell us what you think about certain things. There'll be roving reporters going around with microphones, so just raise your hand, I'll point to you, and you can ask your question. So as interactive as possible, we'd like the session to be. So that's my plug for asking questions and making comments. I brought this photo today because it is the all-time photo of, oh, no, that's not working out. <laughs> Isn't it? And it doesn't look like it's going to work out. And sometimes we get into situations where things aren't working out, whether or not it's on a current piece of business with a partner we're really committed with and, and, and we're circling the drain like sumo wrestlers, like, oh, how are we going to get there? Or we've made the decision that we're going to move on, but maybe there's a different way. And that's our job. Our job is like the midwife that gets that baby to get here faster and better. These are five things that we've tried this year. Lost and found, which is really when you've got two committed partners, uh, and sometimes you just get trapped and maybe somebody needs a timeout. This is uh, a story about um, trying quite a different, quite a radical approach to solving a problem or opportunity for a, a global brand, a brand sold in more than 60 countries. Um, and it's about getting to an answer much faster than you would normally. Um, the process normally can take as long as it takes to put a man on the moon. And the plan here was to try and reduce that drastically. And our plan was to get senior people, the most senior people, the most experienced people, and the best people of all from both companies, both from the client and the agency, together as soon as possible in a short, fr short time frame to get to, to get to an answer that could be um, taken into the wide world. I think that that is where a lot of agencies fail. Um, and I think our industry fails. I think when you think about the same, very same clients we pitch also hire legal and accounting firms. And they don't ask for spec legal. Uh, or spec accounting um, work. And I think this bad behavior started with our in industry uh, whores. I'm sorry, did I say whores? Yeah. Industry founders uh, who, um, who gave creative away for free right at, from the beginning. And I think that um, uh, the sad part about it is I always think of all the great work that is done in this business by these, so many smart people around the world who do all these amazing creative pitches, spend all this energy, all this gray matter to create the stuff that never gets sold. So now I'm gonna talk about this, the garage. What's this, no? I think this is, uh, to put it into words, I would say this is a social and collaborative experiment where we put together some craft employees, some agency talents, Hyper Island students, why not some artists, a bit of architects, some entrepreneurs, some digital media partners. Then we add a little bit of different cultures, and we press that button. <laughs> I would say, how does this moody taste like, no? And I would say this moody tastes like a startup. In the garage, there are no boundaries, no titles. We are, there are no more clients, no more agencies, no more students. We are just a bunch of believers working as one team with one goal in an egoless environment. Yes, in marketing, in an egoless environment. <laughs> and as we say, we like a lot of cooking and blending. And what we put inside is a bit of agitation. Bring in people who provoke, people who inspire, people who you don't really know what they're doing there today. Like, is there any connection with what this guy is speaking? OK. That level of uncomfort is really a key ingredient of how we are creating. And then, what's the second ball? The second ball, for it's, it's really the part where we are uncomfortable, where we are making the bet, which is about prototyping. And for many of you, this is really basic stuff. It's like, OK, what's the, the new? But the new is really the old, is doing it. Okay? It's like, OK, I get the idea, but 
until you actually do it, the idea is it's nothing. It's paper. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.